like, right. hey, it's uh, right. what is that, that white one there? Yeah, hey, that's strike one. Strike! That's what they say. Strike! That's right! That's right! That's right! Yeah, 
Alright, so what's this? Strike in, strike out. Alright, and so up here, then we step on lives. Alright, so you gotta step that man up. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. It's a lot. Hold on. Listen. Listen, brother. You gotta understand. What do you just mean you look like in the Bible? So who the hell is this? Right? You so you like people lying to you, brother? I mean, it seems like it. What, what, would, you, what, what, what would you do if somebody lied to you? They lied to you all your life. Alright. You, you will feel good. Hey, but you got the opportunity right now to, to crush on this lie. Hey, this is a lie, brother. We just read what he looks like according to the book. He has white really hair, red eyes, and he has uh, brown skin. Very dark. See, this is a lie. You got to step on that, brother. Why not? Why, 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 why don't you want to step on it, brother? Do you feel the so far right now? It's not that you're being pressured. I feel you, I feel you, I feel you. Right? But that's a lot. Right? So when you see this image, that's not what it looks like. Now you know what it looks like according to the Bible. And that was Revelation 1 verse uh, 12 on that. Alright? So you don't want to go back and tell your family, tell your friends, and go to Revelation 1 and uh, 12 or down. It's going to tell you Revelation 1 and 12. Alright? Somebody scribe for the book. Somebody scribe for the book. Hey, brother, I, I understand how you feel. Because when I first came into this street and I seen people doing that, it, 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 I used to feel kind of funny because I was brought up in Christianity. We met that with Jesus. And how could I step on Jesus? But after I learned more and more and more and found out this is a lie, I don't care about stepping on it. Thank you. And I understand how you feel, brother, because this is all you know since you've been born, right? So just give me our John 8 and 32, right? I understand, brother. And you and me, we all want to push you to do anything, right? We want you to understand the truth. That's what we got here to do. Check it out. Look at the John chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth. And what? And ye shall know the truth. Okay. He said, and ye shall know the truth. Right? We want you to know the truth down here. We don't want you to know uh, what, the, what man said. We want you to know what God said. Right? That's why everything we're doing is we're going to the words of God. We're not speaking our own words. We don't tell you what God said straight out of his mouth. Right? We say, say, and ye shall know the truth. And what? And the truth shall make you free. Truth is going to make you free. Now you're not going you're not gonna, you're not gonna care about these images and these lies that they told you, but you know it's not true. You know it's not according to the most high. But we, we already understand now that uh, Christ is a, a dark skinned man, right? And do you know who God shows the people who is according to the Bible? The Israelites, right? Give me, uh, somebody give me Revelation chapter 21 verse 4. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 12. What have you heard about the kingdom of heaven? How many days is there? One, right? That's what the Bible says. And had a wall, great and high, and had 12 gates. Talking about the kingdom of heaven. They said had a wall, great and high, and had 12 gates. And had, and had a wall, great and high, and had 12 gates. I had one gate. And had 12 okay. gates. Kingdom and has 12 gates. And let's see what it was for. You think it's for everybody? Check this out. And at the gate, 12 angels. Each gate is 12 angels. Kind of like when you try to get in the club, you got two, you got the bounces, right? It said the angels at 12 gates, right? Why are they standing right there? And names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. And on the gates, it's for the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, right? So if you're not from the 12 tribes of Israel, and them angels, not gonna, they're not letting you in, right? So when do you want to know who the children of Israel is today, right? When do you want to know if you're a child of Israel? 
right? Because get it uh can you give me uh first card up to sixteen and verse thirteen. Because you know God has a chosen people, right? Who is God's chosen people? Israel, right? You don't know how to pick it. Verse 12, chapter 16, verse 13. Bring it out! O ye seed of Israel, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen. You know what? His chosen. It's his chosen ones, right? So he chose the children of Israel out of all the nations, right? So I'm going to show you who the children of Israel is to this day in 2022, right? Because the children of Israel, they don't know who. Give me, uh, give me, uh, Isaiah 1 verse 2 real quick. Because... What's your nationality, brother? Well, what would you say your nationality is? You just know you black? Right? You sure about that? You positive? You positive problem. You put your lights on. Alright, now check this out. What color is my, what color is my jacket? I'm the color of your skin. You're not black. See that? Hey, that fast. Right? You're not black, brother. So who the hell are you? So, hey. Brown is not a nationality though. That's just a color of color out there. Where's the land of brown at? The land of brown. Right? So I'm trying to tell you that our people don't know who we are. Right? And this is prophecy in the Bible about the Israelites, but they don't know who they are. Check this out. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 3. Bring it out. The ox know its owner. And the ass, his master's crib. This is two dumb animals. He said the ox knows his owner, and the ass, which is a donkey, it knows his master's crib. These these animals know who their owner is. They know how to get back to their master's crib. So what? But Israel does not know. And what? But, but Israel, Israel does, does not know. know. They don't know who they are, where they land at, who they God is. What they doing so, in, uh, in, the, in this land? Like these, these people more. don't know. They said if Israel does not know. know. What else? But Israel does not know. My people does not consider. You say? My people does not consider. They don't even know and they don't even consider who the hell they are. It is okay walking around and calling themselves something that they're not, right? So, it's going to go through a couple things, right? And it's going to show you. So far, who do you feel like I'm going to know who? Okay. So far, who do you feel like the Lord is speaking about? What people? So far, brown people, right? But it's gonna get, it's gonna get more specific on what brown, because everybody's brown, but the so called white man. Everybody has brown in their skin, right? Everybody's brown, but the so called white man. So we're gonna get specific on what brown people, right? Give me the book of uh, yeah, Deuteronomy chapter 15. Give me the book of uh, Jeremiah. Well, you got two minutes in the world, Lord, brother. Get a most out two minutes, brother. Moses. Right, Moses, what did Moses do? What did he know for? Right, why don't people see? Right? And what was his people doing that he had to do them? They were slaves. And who were his people? His people were the children of Israel. So he had to free the children of Israel out of Egypt because they were slaves. Right? So after they freed them out of Egypt, they went into the wilderness, and you heard about the Ten Commandments, right? He gave, he gave the Ten Commandments that thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal. You know what I'm saying? That, you know all the guys before me. Don't take the Lord's name in vain. You heard about those things, right? Don't commit adultery, right? Don't covet, right? And the Lord gave the Israelites laws, statutes, and commandments, right? And he told them, it's like a, it's a covenant that he made with them, basically like a contract. Right? You agree to do everything that's written on the contract, right? And the Israelites agree to keep the uh, the, uh, the covenant of the Most High. Everything that was written therein, right? But, on the flip side, if they didn't keep these commandments, bad things is going to happen to them, right? So check this out. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out! This is Moses speaking to the Israelites. Let's see what he said. But it shall come to pay! If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. The Israelites don't listen to the Most High God, you know. To observe, to do all his commandments. Do his commandments, which is the covenant they assigned, they, they agreed to do, right? To keep the commandments, you know. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses. What happens if they don't keep the commandments? 
that all these curses, curses, is gonna look. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Is curses a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing, right? So Moses is prophesying that in the future, if y'all don't keep these commandments, bad things, curses is gonna come upon y'all. Right, you follow him? Right, so this is something that's gonna happen in the future, right? So we're gonna go through a couple curses, and you tell me who are this to with today, right? Because the children are giving us 20 to 40, uh, 46 real quick, real quick. Yeah, 46. Because in 2022, those Israelites will still be going through this to this day, right? 46. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, verse 46. Read out! And they shall be upon thee for a sign. Moses told the Israelites, these curses are going to be upon y'all for a sign. And what else? And for a wonder. And upon thee, and, um, and upon thy seed forever. So these curses are going to be upon the Israelites for a sign. What is a sign used for? Then. Right, people to see it. It's indicating us. Right? So if you want to go to uh, Rosalita, right? you're going to look for the big sign. Right? So if you want to know who the Israelites are, you're going to look for what? Right? The sign. You're going to look, they're going to be going through these curses. They said these curses are going to be upon you for a sign. Right? So only the Israelites will be going through these things in 2022. And they said it's going to be a wonder because these Israelites are going to wonder why they're going through these things. Right? You got to go back and understand why these things are happening. Right? He said, upon thy seed forever. Meaning, literally, 2022, we're still going to be going through these things. Right? But 2022. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 16. Oh. Curse shall not be in the city. Yeah, what? Curse shall not be in the city. So the first curse that Moses said was going to happen to the Israelites is they'll be cursed in the city in the future. Now, if you look in America, what people is cursed in every city? What people is cursed, living cursed in every city? So called black, right? Right? Because who, but, but who is Moses saying this to happen to? Israelites. So he said they was going to be cursed in the city. Now we think I'm sleeping at the bus stop, strung out on clothes in the alleyway, right? Right? Like, drunk out of our damn mind, right? The uh, baby mama drama, baby daddy drama, fighting, domestic violence, shooting each other, selling drugs, right? It is, that's curse, right? That's a curse, right? You know? And curse shall not be in the field. What? And curse shall not be in the field. And you're going to be cursed in the field. I want people to cursed in the field. Think about it. Right? Look at the feet. Well, that's curse. You're in the field. Think of sun up to sun up. Right? Working for free. No way to And that's a curse. And even if you look today, the work field, right? I think the first, uh, last hire, first fire, right? Minimum wage, right? Firing you for no reason, right? Hey, that's a curse thing, right? He said, curse are you being the city, and curse are you being the field, right? I better, uh, better turn, uh, better 49 real quick. Actually, no, better 69. Yes, that's it. The whole thing done. Give me the uh, Jeremiah. Give me the Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 15. We look for peace, but no good can. You said what? We look for peace, but no good can. We look for peace, but no good ever can. So called black people, you out there. So called black, because you out there fighting for country rights, for justice, we shall overcome, uh, 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 hands up, don't shoot, right? All these things, we're looking for peace, right? To protest. But no good ever comes, right? Because right after that, what? You get another man shot down, right? Uh, another, another, uh, uh listen to our people, right? We look for peace, right? Then, uh, um, had the knee on his neck, right? Hey, that's a curse thing, right? And our people steady going out there fighting for equal rights for people that keep killing them, right? And that's a, that's a, that's insanity to keep doing the same things over and over and look for a different result, right? And you see this, there's nothing that I've nothing changed, right? You say if you look for peace and find more, what else? Look for a time of hell and the whole trouble. 
Nick Hill, trying to help, trying to restore, right? They're trying to build up uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, right? And they, but what they do? They turn them down, right? They say, and, and no, uh, no help can, right? So, bring this out. And who does that link up with? What people, what people does that link up with? And who is, my, who is the Lord speaking to? Israelites, right? Bring it up. This is the book of Zechariah. Chapter 11 and verse 5. Now, when these police and these people kill us, do they, do they, do they, do they uh, uh, confess it and be like, okay, I did wrong? Or what they do? Do they go to jail for it? Right, check this out. Who possessors slay them? Who possessors slay them? A possession means you're, uh, basically you're, uh, they have owner, they have ownership of you, right? Uh, they're over, right? He said he possesses and slay them, right? And, what? and hold themselves not guilty. Do what? And hold themselves not guilty. People don't hold themselves guilty for slaying them, you know? And they say, and that, and they that sell them say, let's be the Lord. That's it, right? But these possessors slay us and hold themselves not guilty, right? So, so far, who is Moses speaking to? Right, and the be what the things pertaining to the Israelites, who must they make it? Two minutes. And the Israelites. And he said you gotta look for these songs. Right. right? And we going through these things, man. Right? right. So hey, we the Israelites are going to the fight. Right? We're gonna do one more to put the icing on the cake, right? And I'm gonna show you that you guys are doing these all day, so much to This is, her, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Bring it out! And the, this is another curse that Moses, this is the last curse that Moses said was going to happen to the Israelites if they pray the commandments. Check this out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So Moses said that the Lord is going to bring the Israelites into Egypt again. Now what was the, what was the Israelites doing in Egypt? They were slaves. Brother, right? Brother, so, brother. when these Israelites is here in Egypt, when the Israelites is here in Egypt, what do you think they're thinking about? Slavery, right? So he's going to send them into Egypt again, into slavery again. Now, let me ask you before we continue to read. How did our people get into slavery? Now, oh, what? All right, check this out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Israelites. Moses told the Israelites, y'all gonna go into slavery again. How they gonna go into slavery? With ship. With what? With ship. Plane. With ship. On a, on a, on a, on a, on a jet ski. With ship. Said the Israelites in the future, y'all gonna go into slavery on ships, right? Who gonna make it that way? Israelites. All right, we on. What happened after God the slave ships? All right, we on. By the way, world, I expect unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. The Lord told the Israelites that they're not going to go into physical Egypt again, right? Now you're going to go into another Egypt, another slavery, right? Your ship, right, you know? And there ye shall be sold. And what's going to happen once you go out the slave ship? And there ye shall be sold. There, once you go out the slave ship, you're going to be sold, right? Now we got names, now we got last names of the so called white man, right? Hey. I can bet my best dollar, I mean my best dollar that your last name is so-called white man last name. What is it? Love it? Probably a so-called white man last name, right? But that group was in those plantations, like they sold us, right? So they say you have been sold to your enemies. Now who is you sold to? White people. Well, what the Lord call it? Enemies, right? So all your enemies will do these things, right? You know? And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy for by men and by women. Be sold for by men and by women, what else? And no man shall buy you. No man's gonna buy you, men and redeem. So we just said that they're gonna they're gonna sell us, right? So that that, that buy means redeem. If nobody could redeem us out of this captivity, right? Nobody was able to uh, give us deliverance from uh, uh, from this hard body, right? So now in 2022, we we'll give me give me the work doing it. Now in 2022, we're literally still in captivity. All you can do these days, you can go on vacation, buy a, 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 a million dollars, 
right? You can pull all these things, but that's the main of your food, right? You ever heard that song about Jay-Z? He said, you still nigga, right? They still look at you like a nigga, right? Because you, they, they still look at you. Nah, it's still looking at you like you got it. It's still looking at you like you got it. You're making Baruch chapter 3 verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Right? Though we can still do all these things, we're still in captivity. We're still uh, uh, under these, uh, uh, these punishments, under these uh, uh, curses, you know? What well, thou has scattered us through a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payment. To what? Subject to payment. According to all the iniquities of our fathers, be subject to payment. Now you gotta pay rent. Now you gotta pay for all these things, right? Because they were still in captivity, right? But then we build up these damn places, right? And we still gotta pay the people that were over us. He said, you should be subject to payment, you know? For all the, according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord our God. He departed from the, our, our father, departed from the Lord our God by not keeping the commandments. Now we're going through all these curses, right? Where the Lord said he's going to visit the iniquity of our fathers upon the third or fourth generation. Right now we're living through these curses. Now it's going to be a sign to show you that we are the true Israelites of the Bible. Right? Bring it up. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Bring it up. Therefore shall I serve my enemy, which the Lord shall send against me in hunger. That we're going to serve our enemies with the Lord sent against them in hunger, right? So that that meaning when you want something to eat, you have to go to the people that's not your people, right? Hey, who own that? White people, like McDonald's, right? But any place you want to go that has food, it's, even if it's owned by our people, you still got to get the products from the so called white man, you still got to pay taxes to the so called white man, right? You know? In hunger and in thirst. So, you know what? So, and in thirst. So you want something to drink, right? You gotta go to these uh uh white owned companies, right? You wanna keep your water bill on, you gotta pay the so-called white right man, right? You can't get water, water can't spill up in the sky, right? But you get fined if you try to get and make a will, right? You can't do those things. You gotta pay the so-called white man for everything, you know? And in nakedness. And nakedness meaning it's over. Right? Every, anything you have on is not made by our people. You have to go to the other nations to get it. If you're going to go to the other nations, and you probably be asked out of luck. You don't have no clothes to wear. Right? Uh, we don't. And in want of all things. In want of all things. Anything you want in this world, you got to go to your enemy to get it. Literally everything. You can't think of nothing that you can, you can, you can, you can get that you got to go, uh, that you can't, that you don't have to go to the enemy to get. You want a driver's license, you want an education, right? You want a passport, right? You want to get a car, you want to get a house, right? You want to do anything. And you even got to, uh, even if you want to, uh, uh, leave the, leave the country, you got to get a pass, all these things, you got to get a passport. You can't even leave, you got to come right back, right? And you say, one of all things, you know? And you shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. The enemy gonna do it. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. They put a yoke of iron upon our neck, right? And now they took it off physically, but they still upon us uh, mentally, right? You know? Until he have destroyed thee. Now you're destroyed, right? Now you now you don't even understand who you actually are. Now you don't even understand that you're supposed to be keeping these commandments, right? Because now you're mentally destroyed. But now we're trying to take, like I brought out earlier, say you shall know the truth, and the truth is going to make you free. Because now you understand the truth according to the Lord. Not according to the Lord. Right? So I'm going to close out. You pass it to the brother. Like, don't go nowhere. And the brother is going to further edify you and show you what commandments that you got to keep and how to repent. Right? Because the thing coming to you.